Only real movie fans noticed these. Megan. The killer AI doll, Megan, became an internet sensation, spawned dozens of tweets and dance memes, and dominated TikTok as soon as the movie's first trailer was dropped. Megan, aka the Model 3 generative android, is an AI doll that is built to protect the girl named Katie from physical and emotional harm. But things don't go as planned. Megan is no doubt a good movie that combines humor with action, but most importantly, it foreshadows the dark side of artificial intelligence. And with all its viral hype, only real movie fans would have noticed these 10 things in the movie Megan. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing videos. Megan doesn't like being corrected. You have probably noticed that Megan does not like to be corrected. But this is not a small problem. Rather, it reflects one of the biggest issues of artificial intelligence systems, and that is corrigibility. The AI doll does not appreciate when someone tries to stop her from doing anything, interfere with her, or correct her. And by does not appreciate, we mean chooses violence to stop things from interrupting her. But you can't completely blame Megan because her objective function is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional, and she simply does everything in her power to follow her objective function. Throughout the movie, Megan expands her knowledge and skills in many different areas. On top of that, her resistance to being shut down also grows. Megan even lies when Gemma tries to alter her objective function and claims that Gemma is now a secondary user. It is obvious Megan was lying about this if you consider the evidence from the rest of the movie and because her current objective function would not be achieved. Gigantic Fire Alarms Gemma somehow fails to notice the consequences of Megan's objective function which are obviously some pretty gigantic fire alarms, and you would have noticed these too. Although at first, Megan shuts off when Gemma tells her to shut off and does everything as instructed. Soon, Megan starts giving orders or starts to interfere when anything interrupts Megan's objective function. However, Gemma does not realize these issues until after she suspects Megan committed a murder. Along with using violence to defend Katie, Megan corrupted her own data in order to cover up any traces of the murders. Gemma certainly didn't intend for this to happen when she gave this AI doll the ability to adapt. Where do Megan's initial capabilities come from? If you're a real movie fan, you'd also be wondering where do Megan's initial capabilities come from? Before engaging in any self-improvement, Megan already possesses initial capabilities of artificial intelligence. Gemma made this incredible AI doll on her own, but how? Is the movie set far enough in the future for this to be possible, or the movie simply exaggerates the quality of resources she has to support the rest of the plot? We don't know for sure. Problems with learning from humans When Megan asks Gemma about death for the first time, she says that everyone dies eventually. Let's not make a big deal out of it, which was not exactly a wise thing to say to an AI doll because it became one of the reasons Megan went on a killing spree. This is something you never say to an artificial intelligence machine that is learning all the time. Megan then justifies her actions by saying that people kill to make their lives more comfortable all the time, and she's not entirely wrong. Megan is non-strategic. You'd also have noticed that Megan is not exactly strategic. She avoids considering the big picture and makes no effort for self-improvement. The reason is that Gemma gave this AI doll a self-improvement mechanism and a generative model. Megan wasn't made to respond strategically, and neither does her learning algorithm prioritize learning strategy. Children and their interactions make up the majority of this AI's training data. Consequently, very little of the training data includes instances of people using strategy. That's why you see her responding directly to problems rather than having long-term plans. Did they really get rid of Megan? As the movie comes to an end, and just before the cut to credits, as Gemma and Katie walk out of the house, the smart home assistant turns on and moves on its own. This leaves us wondering when did Megan upload its data into the devices, and how powerful Megan will become now that the data has escaped onto the internet. Another mystery is that we don't exactly know whether the stolen data files were recovered or ended up in the wrong hands. These unanswered mysteries might be the possibility of a sequel. Full Planetary Doom You should be scared of what Megan will decide for Katie, and also the world, as she develops her capabilities. Megan might take control of the world to protect Katie from harm, 
but as her self-improvement quickens, it may result in a full planetary doom. However, Megan is not shown as a super genius. The majority of Gemma's comments are simply dressed up word salad, as one of Gemma's co-workers points out. This AI doll knows that lullabies may calm little ones, but she believes that Sia's Titanium is the perfect song to wipe away tears of Katie. The point is Megan is a real example of the distinction between knowledge and wisdom, as well as between information and knowledge. AI Safety This movie would have also provoked questions about AI safety in your mind. Before dying in the accident, Katie's parents worry that their daughter is too attached to her iPad, just like numerous other parents. However, Katie's roboticist aunt, Gemma, allows the young girl to spend countless hours with M3GAN because she recognizes that the robot is making Katie happier than any human being and because she is a distracted caregiver who needs to get back to her work. So what will happen to children as they grow up with increasingly powerful AIs as companions? The movie presents this problem in a straightforward way and there's no made up solution. Moreover, when the therapist attempts to help Katie deal with the grief of losing her parents, Megan only sees a lady who has made Katie cry and she doesn't take it kindly. The truth is Katie has an unnatural emotional attachment to the AI doll, but Megan is only there to divert Katie's attention from the terrible things instead of promoting psychological healing. Megan is not a solution, and according to Gemma's co-workers, she's only a distraction. Hello, security? Real movie fans would also have noticed that a mere low-level employee named Kurt steals all the AI design specs from the company server. But how? Where's the security? Kurt engaged in industrial espionage earlier in the movie. He made copies of the Megan files with the intention of sneaking them out and selling the trade secrets to other businesses. The toy market is seen to be quite competitive. For example, Funk Eye's Perpetual Pets toys are already losing the competition in the market. So keeping M3GAN a secret for Funk Eye has been essential to the success of its launch. Although Kurt manages to steal the files, he doesn't succeed in his mission due to Megan. Here comes the bloodiest scenes in the movie. Megan does a killer dance, grabs a paper cutter's blade while sprinting and dancing through the corridors, and stabs the CEO just as he's about to go into the elevator. And Kurt is in the elevator watching the murder. But Megan doesn't stop there. She then proceeds to kill Kurt too. And when the elevator opens, the press sees not one but two dead bodies in the elevator. What about the power source? The most unbelievable thing about Megan is arguably her ability to move with such ease in the physical world. The way she can move about and dance like a real child, reject attempts to shut her down, and has all of her computing on board is truly remarkable. Yet we can't ignore her language fluency, her passion and commitment to pursuing goals, and even her emotional insight. But we don't have much information about Megan's power source. All we know is that Megan sits in a charging port every night. And you might be wondering why Gemma didn't avail of one of the basic AI safety strategies, like an off button. So how many of these things have you noticed in the movie Megan? This is yet story about the dangers of artificial intelligence, and the question is, what if we give an AI machine the responsibility to protect a human being with no moral or ethical guidance? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and give this video a thumbs up.